Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you start winning more often and having a lot more fun while you're doing it. I've got a brand new microphone. This is the first video that I've used the microphone, so I hope the audio is coming through crystal clear better than ever. Please let me know if that's the case. Leave a comment down below. I really appreciate your feedback. This game, I'm playing Dominion on the map Exile. I'm playing with completely random players here. Uh, really no teamwork, no collaboration, no cooperation, no communication. It's kind of a, a crazy free-for-all hodgepodge. And uh, as a result, the game is very, very close. We really squeak out a victory in the final seconds. Uh, Could have gone just about either way, but we do win the game. And so I like to go back and review games like this. Because in the very close competitive games, every single play makes a difference. Every decision influences the outcome. And so there's really not a lot of room for error in a close game. And so if you go back and you watch your films in the theater, you go back and watch those close games, you can usually identify one or two things you did well, as well as one or two things that maybe made a mistake or, or an area for improvement. And so I encourage you to go back into the theater if you don't have a habit of doing that already and kind of looking for ways to find subtle advantages because as the game continues to uh, move forward, uh, players are going to become more and more comfortable with the maps and the game types and, and uh, just playing in general. And you're going to need to find more subtle ways to gain advantages and to improve your gameplay. So uh, with that in mind, uh, I do recommend watching your films in the theaters. I do recommend also going back identifying who is the best player in any given game and watching the game from their perspective because you can learn so many things uh, from other players by watching them in the theater. And I know I've given this tip out already, but I'm sharing it again because um, you know some of the best tips and tricks that I've ever uh, picked up, I've gathered from basically watching random opponents in the theater and stewing uh, their approaches to a lot of different situations. And so that's really helped me improve my, my gameplay and I know it can improve your gameplay as well. So if you don't have a habit of going into the theater and watching those gameplays over and over again, make sure that you make a habit of that. Here I'm just really trying to help my team clear out this B base. Very challenging to do because it's a very hotly contested base in any map when it comes to Dominion. The B base is usually right in the middle and oftentimes very vulnerable and so just really doing my best to uh, score as many points here in this base as I possibly can. Uh, before I go any further here I do want to do a quick channel update uh, and an announcement. Uh, I know that the holiday season is here upon us so happy holidays to everybody. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the season. Um, I know that I have viewers around the world from all different countries and all different religions and so with that being said whichever uh, holidays you celebrate and however you celebrate them I hope that you enjoy yourself I hope it's a great time of year for you for me personally I celebrate Christmas and New Year's among other holidays and uh, of course those are coming up here really looking forward to them and I will point out that I'm going to go on a vacation or a holiday for a couple of weeks uh, in between Christmas and New Year's a little bit before a little bit after so you won't see me very, you won't see me at all on Xbox Live or here on YouTube. I won't be uploading any new content for about two weeks. And I just wanted to say this so that you guys don't panic if you don't see any new videos, because I do. I mean, I do my best to upload, you know, two or three or four videos a week right now. And you're gonna see a gap for about two weeks without any new uploads. But I just want to let you know that. You know, it's a planned thing. I'm going to be on vacation. Nothing bad has happened to me. No harm has befallen me. Um, I'm going to miss you all very, very much. But I hope you enjoy your Christmas and, and your holiday season. And um, hopefully you can get in a bunch of Halo. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be playing much Halo where I'm going to be. I'm going to be at the beach just enjoying myself and working on my book. But um, I want to let you all know where I was going to be and what's going on so you don't, you don't panic. But please continue to subscribe, and I'll be back with plenty more tips and tricks to come. And in the meantime, this won't be my last video actually before my holiday. I'm going to post a couple more before I go. So stay tuned for plenty more action in the days to come. Now look at this. With one second left, I'm able to run into this base and, and initiate a capture on the sea base. And you want to keep an eye on the clock. Every time I capture a base, there's like five seconds or less on the clock. 
and that's something that you really need to be paying attention to in Dominion. You need, you need to keep an eye on the clock, and you need to understand exactly how much time is left before the other team is going to score, and how much le time is left before you are going to score, okay? So if your base is about to resupply, and you're going to score points, you want to make sure to stay there and hold it down if you possibly can. And you're going to see also throughout the entire game, I'm, I'm using Promethean Vision because this is a great um, armor ability for the Dominion game type. Because Dominion kind of lends itself to a lot of base defense. And uh, if you're going in there and you want to capture a base, you're going to want to have that Promethean Vision so you know exactly what you're up against. In this case, you can see I'm completely surrounded. I didn't have a prayer of resupplying this base. But I was able to basically disrupt the scoring pattern of the red team and draw all of their attention away to that C base. And now you can see that over here at the B base, my team has been able to easily recapture this base and uh, commence scoring in this part of the map. So uh, that disruption really did make a big difference in the, in the gameplay. Now here I do make a mistake. I don't really even know why I grabbed this Banshee and, you know, this really was a mistake. Uh, number one, I, I only get one kill with it. And then number two, I'm really not influencing the outcome of the game here. I'm not defending any existing bases, and I'm really not promoting the capture of, of any other bases. And then I get hijacked here, so this really was a big mistake. And if I were to play the game again under the same circumstances, I wouldn't have grabbed that Banshee. I would have just tried to hold down the B base, because that little foray with the Banshee, basically, uh, now, now the red team is recapturing the B base. We lost a lot of ground here, and uh, that really my time would have been better served in the B base. Here I go for the animated assassination. Always a huge mistake, uh, especially in a competitive game where it's going to be close. The animated assassination takes, what, about two hours, I think, to perform. So you're guaranteed to be killed anytime you, you assassinate somebody. It's really a joke. So I'm, I'm just trying to do my very darndest to keep the red team from scoring here in the, the B base and to try to push him out. But they're just like, it's like a den of thieves in there. There's so many, and um, I really can't penetrate that base. And so I decide, again, they're all clustered in the B base. I probably have a good opportunity to swing around to the C base and uh, maybe uh, capture that base, if not disrupt, disrupt the scoring pattern over there. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm putting in a few shots uh, into the B base. The blast doors have not come up yet. And so I want to try and uh, you know put some shots into that base if I can. Maybe help my teammates in some way or fashion to recapture the base just by clearing it out a little bit. But I'm keeping a very close eye on the clock in the C base. Again, because time management is critical in Dominion. And you got to know when your opponents are about to capture. So I see they're going to capture here very shortly. And I want to get in there and... Uh, and reinitiate a capture before they score. I got 10 seconds to do it. I'm using Promethean Vision. I know that the base is cleared out. So with just a couple seconds on the clock, I'm able to clear out the base, get in here, uh, recapture the C base with what? One second, two seconds left on the clock and initiate a capture. And again, the timing is absolutely critical. So let me just review so far what I've talked about as I try to defend this base and keep the red team from, from getting it back is uh, you know Promethean Vision can be very helpful both offensively and defensively. It helps you know going into a base capture how many opponents are in there and what you're really dealing with. Now if you are defending a base then the Promethean Vision can help you identify which entrances the opponents are coming through and how many they're, they're going to be. And so in, in either case that Promethean Vision can be very very helpful. Additionally you always need to keep an eye on those time uh, on the, the time counters so you know exactly when your team is going to score and when your opponents are going to score. And likewise, you need to be very, very aware of what the score is overall and uh, who possesses which bases. Again, coming in here at the last second, clear this guy out with the saw, and I'm able to stop the capture with just five seconds on the clock. And this time around, I'm not going to give the base back. I'm going to make sure to sit in here and uh, make sure that we score some points because... The score is very, very close, and I'm very aware of that. Additionally, the other team has just captured the A base, so now they've got the A base and the B base, and the C base is really our last hope. I really I didn't want to abandon this base and go and try to recapture another base at this point because I just thought it would be much too risky. Um, we're only ahead by 30 points, and uh, it's just going to be too close to call. So here, playing a little bit of defense, 
I wish, I really wish that I had been able to communicate with my teammates because if you are able to communicate with your, your teammates and work together, as long as you can hold down two bases at the same time, generally speaking, you're going to win the game like that. You don't need to worry about the third base in most cases as long as you can hold down two. So here, uh, I'm about to uh, score on the C base, which is going to put us up 390 to 360 and we just lost the A base again and so now uh, I, I'm really starting to sweat it because I really wanted to win this game at this point once it gets close I'm just so competitive and uh, I had this uh, red player coming in with the rockets and I knew that was going to be trouble fortunately I squeaked by with the saw that was just a miracle that I did not die now I've got the saw and the rockets I'm looking at the score and I realize that we just need one more uh, resupply to win the game and although the other team has two base captures, they're lagging behind on the time. And so I'm, as long as I can sit in here and finish this one off, we're going to get a victory. So again, I hope you guys have all enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you picked up a couple things along the way. Again, uh, I hope you all enjoy your holiday. However, however you celebrate your holidays and whichever holidays you celebrate, I hope you have a great time. Um, I'll be posting a couple more videos before I go, but once I leave, I won't be back for a couple of uh, weeks, so don't panic, but I will be back. I will return back and better than ever with some signature tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video uh, with your friends. Add it to your favorites, so on and so forth. Uh, Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.